small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go It's just what I do when I'm out so Alright so this little guy that I'm recording right now is called Porcupine Puffer This one came from East Africa We do have them here in the Caribbean also They is small it's about three inches, I have a few, but they can get pretty big. I have one over there is about six inch. When they are under stress, they puff up and then the spines all come out like a ball of spines. And that's a defense mechanism against predators. So it will be too big for them to eat. Plus if they try to eat them, they will get stabbed by the, the spines uh, that they have. So that's a very good defense mechanism. Now the thing is, you don't really want to kind of stress them and make them puff because they do spend a lot of energy doing that and they consume a lot of oxygen so after deflating they're very tired and very stressed and once you stress them it creates a window of, of opportunity other fish to stress them even more if you make them that weak and stressed they can they might get sick and be more prone to, to to diseases or other problems so you don't really want to be stressing them around well, diet-wise, they eat krill. Uh, they like to... Their teeth also can get too big if they don't have stuff to, to grind their teeth or so it, they use it to, to use their mouth and teeth to, to break shells and so they can reach for food. So it's a tool for them. Uh, and they can move stuff around also and bite and try to reach for other stuff as they are hunting. They're pretty smart. They have those little eyes. Uh, those eyes more towards the front to give them uh, a, a good evaluation of distance. They're pretty smart. They will recognize you. They will know when time is to, when it's time to feed. Their eyes kind of move like uh, they can move the eyes in different ways, in different directions, independently. So that's pretty cool. Their color and that pattern is used for camouflage. So at night they do camouflage very well. So it's very hard to see them. It's a fish that you can almost pet them, and it will let you pet them after a while. And after it's like. He knows you well enough, let's say, after you feed him quite a bit. If you don't want him to always be like looking around as soon as you pass by your tank, they're always swimming around, hitting the glass, trying to get food, just condition them so you want to knock three times on the glass or so. So when he knows, when he hears that knocking, he knows it's time to feed, not associating your presence with feeding. So you can be in front of the tank without him being like, all the way against the, all over the glass. Feed them, I feed them uh, krill, I like to feed them krill. I like to feed them also half clams, uh, uh, clams in half shell. You can also give them some uh, live clams, you want to break them, a fresh clam, they will figure out their way into the flesh. Uh, silver size, with silver size, crab clusters, uh, mixed, different mixed foods. You can also give them mysis shrimp, brine, that's already being a little bit too small. Mises will be the smallest that I will give them. Silver size, chopped silver size, big silver size once they're pretty big. Aggression, they're not really aggressive. Now once they get pretty big, they might start looking for small fish. They can try, they might try to hunt for small fish. If you have inverts, they're gone. Uh, crabs, uh, they will go all over. They will, they will definitely try to find them. They will be hunting them. Shrimp, the same thing. So they're not uh, invertebrate safe, coral wise. It's not that the coral is part of their diet, but they might use the coral, they might chew on the coral a little bit, just as a curiosity, to trying to move stuff around. I have um, the big one over there with uh, leathers and enemies. It's all good. So coral wise is not a big threat. It's not like a butterfly that's going to each of coral is not like an angel that might nip at the corals here and there. So even those ones are somewhat selective. They're not going to eat all the coral and all kinds of coral. It also depends. You want to keep them well fed also. So if you feed them well, there's less, uh, less tendency to search for other sources of food. Somewhat easy. It's not difficult to keep. So if you have a fish only tank, amazing fish great if you put them in a reef just be super careful say if you have a soft uh, a soft coral reef tank should be good for your tank if sps i'm not sure if you try to just keep them well fed i don't know any dimorphism between male and female is i believe it's pretty hard to sex them i haven't really 
I don't know, but uh, these are pretty smart fish. They they have a good, they have a each they have personality. You can train them to do some stuff if you have patience. But uh, overall, it's a really cool fish. All right, guys, see you tomorrow.